They say that heaven is ten zillion light years away, and just the pure heart will walk a righteous street someday. They say that. Heaven is ten million light years away. But if there is a God, we need him now. Where is your God? That's what my friends ask me. And I say it's taking him so long. Cause we got so far to come. But in my heart I can feel it. Ooh. I feel his spirit. Oh, 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 feeling. Let me stop that for they be done sense of my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, 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 welcome to this space that I call the mental house because I'm telling you, it's better than being out there where it is totally insane. Totally is beyond the mental house out there. And because ain't nobody doing nothing. They are running amok. And some of you may ask why. You know, I think the best definition without dancing around the Democrat, Republican, Democrat, all that crap that keeps us separate, that keeps us unwilling to even be hu humanity, right? and humanitarians and uh, 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 custodians of one another, of one another now. Not just your group, not just my group, but what stops us from being custodians to one another is white people don't want to deal with the truth about their history. You can't run from it. Truth pressed to the earth will rise. Do you know how crazy you must be? to want to wipe out your whole history when it deals with racism and slavery and all that and thinking that you are really going to be progressive. You think you're really going to survive life with that lie? Listen, the best explanation that I heard from a white man to explain the white pathology is Tim Weiss. And let me give you all a piece of him right now. He, he let you know what time it is. Right. Well, look, first off, before I get into the analytical piece of this, uh, let me just say, you know, our youngest daughter graduated high school this week. And it is not lost on me that in, you know, eight years, there are going to be 19 families in Uvalde who should be celebrating the same way that we were, who we're not going to get to. And the reason they're not going to get to is because this country loves its guns more than it loves its children. This country loves the ability of an 18 year old the day they turn 18 to go buy a weapon of war, then they appreciate the right of a 10 year old to become 11 or 12 or 13 or 18. So let's be very clear. The difference between Canada and the United States, Australia and the United States, New Zealand and the United States, every industrialized nation in the world versus us is that we fetishize weapons. And let's be very clear, the historical precedent for that, the reason that we are so obsessed with guns and personal gun ownership going back to the Second Amendment is because the founders were so afraid 
that black people were going to rebel against enslavement, that indigenous people were going to rebel against being pushed off their land and killed and removed, that we wanted to make sure white men could have all the guns that they could possibly possess in order to put down the rebellions of the dangerous racial other. And so the irony is that we now have an incredibly dangerous country for everybody's babies, white babies, black babies, brown babies, everybody's babies, because white men a couple hundred years ago decided we needed to have all the Preach. weapons that we could possibly possibly have Preach. and enshrine that in the constitution to defend against those Preach, people. Brother. And the irony is that now white folks, white children, white families, just as endangered, we buy all these weapons in the wake of Obama's election. There was a big upsurge in weapons because folks were, oh, black dudes, the president, and they're going to come take our guns after Ferguson. When Mike Brown was killed, the Ferguson uprising, everyone said, we got to go get all these guns. And the irony is that that increase in gun ownership did not lead to self-defensive use of weapons to prevent, you know, burglaries or whatever. It led to an increase in suicide, an increase in homicide. We are a less safe nation for everybody's babies because of this obsession. And this obsession goes back hundreds of years. So we need to understand the connection between past and present and realize that we are a sick and broken culture. We are not the greatest nation on earth any longer. If we ever were, we are a nation committed to an ideology of death. And if we want to stop that Whoa. and save our children, we are going to make a change. And I mean, children, students should be walking out of school in the fall, refuse to go to class until your parents and your grandparents do something to protect you. Your parents do not love you enough. Your leaders do not love you enough and you shouldn't go to class one day until they decide to do something different. A general strike among young people is what is going to end this thing. And it may be the only thing that does that. Did you hear him? Did you hear him, people? I don't know how many of y'all agree with him, but I certainly do. I certainly do. And it is what it is. Let me hear your comment. And if you like what you hear, please subscribe to the channel. Please share the channel. Please do whatever housekeeping you have to do with the channel so I can stay on the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.